steam rising from the ground is a familiar sight in a Rotorua landscape. Scattered plumes drift constantly into the air. Rotorua's boiling springs and geysers have made her famous. There is much that is strange to be seen here. In the depths of this chasm, the geyser Pahutu rests. Cracks in the ground where water boils through in a frenzy are frequent, and so are the small restless geysers. High into the air rises the steam from the geyser called Maggie Papakora. This famous geyser plays continuously, spilling endless hot water into the cold stream beside it. And through the steam, the tourists are led by the Maori guides, looking at geysers, boiling mud, and all the other wonders. But to some people, this strange place is home. In among the steam and hot springs here at Wakarewarewa is a Maori village. Long before Europeans came to New Zealand, Maori people lived here in their tent-shaped houses. Residentially, this is a favoured spot. The ceaseless steam forms a warm backcloth. The limitless hot water eases the domestic problem. Wash day is pleasant here. For the children, there's the village school. The play break is an opportunity for their favourite game, an old Maori one, a sort of follow the leader in hand and arm movements. Back in the village, the old women sit in the sun in front of the meeting house. In olden times, the Wari Runanga was the centre of village life. On its steps, the elders laid their plans or went back over the past. Now the meeting house is the social centre. This evening, the girls and women have come on their own to rehearse for a Maori concert. Dressed in traditional costumes, they practice against a traditional Maori background. The carved pillars, the hand-woven screens, and the painted rafters of this meeting house are reconstructions of old-time Maori craftsmanship. Here, the visitor is introduced to Maori art. In this rehearsal, the famous guide Rangi acts as mistress of ceremonies. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou. Māori dances are really messages from the generations that have gone before us. Our people had no written language. Their stories were told in carving, song and dance. Many of the dances you see today are made up of movements used by our ancestors to interpret our history and legend, our love and hate, our sense of humor. PT Toria is a game played with sticks to the accompaniment of singing. Tahi Rua Toro. and mate mate are games by which we train the young people to be quick with hand and eye. 
poi will give you three dances in one. You will see the canoe poi, which depicts the voyage of our forefathers from Hawaii to Aotearoa, which is our name for New Zealand. You will see the tiraka, inspired by one of our native birds, the fantail. And you will see the long poi, which is the traditional dance done by the maidens of the village. 